So this guy's gonna arrive here. Where are you going? Where are you going, man? No, no, no. Wait, wait, stop. Don't, no, no, stop. Come back. No, I need you. You're carrying my stuff. He just ran away. Oh my God. He just ran away. Hello everybody and welcome to Honey Bunny Games. My name is Twisted and today we're going to be playing Farm Manager 2018. So this is obviously a game about managing a farm. Let's go jump right into it. There is a... this is just the alpha version. It's just a, an alpha demo. It's not the full game. It's gonna be missing a lot of stuff. The game is not available yet. The devs were kind enough to send me a preview code. I'm gonna put the Steam link in the description so you can check it out for yourself if you so choose. So there are, there's no campaign. There's only one scenario in the game right now. We're gonna be going into free We're gonna be starting our own farm. Our farm name is gonna be Twisted Stacy Treats. It's gonna be the name of our farm. It doesn't really make much sense for a farm name, but that's okay. Terrain C, let's type in 69. That is the perfect number. We're gonna start with medium difficulty. We're gonna go with a lot of cash. It's not that much, but 700, 750. 100,000 is a lot of cash in my eyes. All right, here we are in the world. Unfortunately, we seem to have a big lake. So 69 is not the best seed I've ever seen. Hello, Adam. I don't care about you. I know everything over here. Okay, just cancel. I don't need your tutorial. It's not really a tutorial. I mean, it, it just kind of tells you what the UI is. And I know what the UI is. I know how the UI works. So this is going to be our farm we do have a big lake it does look quite quite nice but that gives, does give us a little bit of less room to actually grow and expand and do stuff we can move around however we want we can also press this little camera button and we actually fo enter photo mode which means we can actually go in as far as much as we want look around take pretty pictures and i like this quite a lot let's just exit that go back to our normal mode so we need to get a farm, right? So over here we have the tasks that we need to do. We have we need to make a house for permanent employees and also a house for ourselves. Let's actually get a nice farm owner's house. Let's go build that bad boy. It's gonna be a beautiful, massive house. It's gonna take up a lot of space. Because why the hell not? Can we build it on water? We cannot build it on water. What is this game? Uh, can we like build it over here with a little like seaside deck? We could actually totally do that. It might not be an awful idea, you know? We just rotate this a little bit to the back. All right, so I can just build it over here, like standing above the lake, because we won't be able to use that. Oh, it's gonna just adjust the surface on its own. Well, all right, that <laughs> was good what I had in mind. I wish we had just a flat piece of land. I would like it a lot better. It's gonna look a bit wonky now. So now we are gonna have to get this built. Well, we don't actually build it ourselves. We have to actually wait and see it in the distance over here for the truck to arrive with the materials and go build this thing for us. It's gonna take a little bit. So over here we can build roads. Uh, I'm not sure where the engine is gonna be, so I'm gonna just leave it like this. But also we will need a house for permanent employees. I have to just wait for this first, huh? Yeah, so I can't actually open my, my menu yet because I haven't built a farm on, on this house. This is the most important thing. It allows us to actually manage our farm and we can't quite do that. So this guy's gonna arrive here. Where are you going? Where are you going, man? No, no, no. Wait, wait, stop. Don't, no, no, stop. Come back. No, I need you. You're carrying my stuff. He just ran away. Oh, my God. He just ran away. Why would you do that? Oh, I guess that wasn't my guy. This is my guy, right? Are you gonna turn here and help me build my house? Please build my house. Hey, thank you. There we go. So there's a guy here. He's gonna be driving his truck, coming in here. He's gonna bring all the materials over here. And the house is magically going to get built. So it's gonna take a little bit to get all the materials up here. Here we go. It's gonna just have to look at this construction. Hey, it's kind of fast. Awesome. So we have the house. It's like, I really hate this. I really, really... Can we just... Can we bulldoze this? We cannot bulldoze the house. I really hate this layout over here. That's I, I thought it would be like a nice house on the hill with a little deck over here above the water. This totally, like, was not part of my plan. Alright, now we can open the main tab where we actually see mostly everything over here. We can see the scenario goals. This is the free mode, so there's nothing over here. And we have some grants and goals. So, the Ministry of Development will pay us money if we build a house for permanent employees before the end of spring. Which is good. Build a farm, we do have that. That gave us a little bit of money, which I do like quite a bit. Alright, so let's actually go build some things. We can go over here. Houses, house for permanent. It says permanent, but it means permanent. 
And house for seasonal employees. I'm gonna build a permanent house first. That's cost us a little bit. It only has eight beds. This is gonna be for people who are gonna live here forever. Like, I could just build their house right above my farm. I don't wanna do that. I wanna kinda pull it a bit to the side. So this, this is gonna, like, mess up the water again. I gotta be a bit frustrated. But let's actually just build it, like, over here near the road, right? You're gonna like that. Build near the road. It's gonna be a bit uneven again. I don't like hills. This lake is seriously messing me up. That was not part of my plan. We're gonna have to wait for the guys to arrive again. There's a deer. Don't kill the deer. No. All right, good. You are so fast. That is not a healthy... Oh, I'm on speed three, right? <laughs> that explains everything. So we're gonna build this. Okay, we're gonna build a house for, for permanent employees. It's gonna get built magically, automatically. There we go. And now, we can actually hire some employees. House of permanent employees is here. That is great. Success! Yes! Hire an employee to get a reward of a thousand dollars, of course. Let's go do that. Let's also go to our higher list. So we can filter one seasonal or permanent employees. I want to get a permanent person. And we can actually see their stats. So depending on what you want to focus on, that's what you want to look for in a person. They also do cost more, the better they are. So if you want to have a manufacturing plant, Bernadine would be a great choice here. If you want to have a uh, an orchard, Ada would be an awesome, awesome choice, I think. Let's see what we have here. Do we have anyone who's good with plants? Not, no one's really that good with plants, it seems. We have like an orchard person. Chrissy can increase her skill. You're good at beekeeping. You're good at machines, though. Destruction level of used machine. I, it's probably good to have you like not destroy stuff. Let's, let's hire Chrissy. Let's hire Chrissy. She can live in this building. There we go. We also want to hire probably another person. So we have Chrissy, who's going to be for that stuff. So I'm going to hire Ada. It's going to be for my orchard. I don't have an orchard yet. You can work with level 5 before August. Bet with the neighbor. Okay, we have a bet with the neighbor. What does the neighbor say? Um, you're a better farmer and plant tomato seedling before August. Oh, that's a lot of money. All right, let's actually get some tomato seedlings in here. So, how do we actually do that? Well, go to the market. And we actually... The market is over here. We want to buy some seeds, right? So, if you go over here, you can filter the seeds and plants. Um... You can see the prices, they fluctuate, so it's not always a good choice. You don't have a proper warehouse or enough space, so that's a problem. Um, let's build a warehouse. So we don't want to build our warehouse. I'm kind of like keeping all my important things over here. So I'm going to build a warehouse very close. I don't want to keep it right on the main road, is the thing. I want to like, keep it over here. There we go. Let's actually add some proper paths and roads. I don't want to add a, a paved... A paved road is this, right? It's not, it's not the same as this one. It's not. I'm gonna give them a paved road. Paved road is more expensive. Looks better. So let's actually just let go over here. They're gonna flatten the land. It's not gonna flatten the land. All right, that's okay. I'm gonna go all the way here. Uh, can we just demolish this bit? There we go. Thank you very much. Let's get more paved roads over here. So they have an entrance. Uh, it's gonna look a bit silly, right? Because it's like a super big hill. I just want to like have you go like this. I know you have to like have a massive climb out of your thing every time. Is it like a way to terraform? I don't think there's a way to terraform in this current build, which is kind of a shame. But we have people just running around doing stuff. And they're gonna be happy about that. While we're waiting for this thing to get built, let's actually get some more things over here. So, we have for animals, we have animal pens, like the coops and the stables and couches and whatnot. Beekeeper building. I guess we could get a beekeeper. We have a lot of money. That might be a good investment for us. Over here, if we have houses. We could get more easily. Parking. Parking large agricultural machines. More large parking spaces. Production. Okay, what is this thing? Well, that's a big building. It doesn't actually have a tooltip, which is kind of weird. Over here we have a silo storage warehouse. Yeah, I'm building this. That's okay. We have a bunch of buildings over here. We can't do... Actually, we should probably should do some research. So over here we can go to training. Um, we can do some research here. Increase rate of production by 10%. Gives access to building a wind power plant. Storage capacity by 10%. Uh, let's see... Increase the strength of employees by 10%. Let's actually do that. Yeah, that's actually really cheap. Might as well do it. Might as well invest in that. And let's also build a parking spot. I do want to get a lot of machines. That is the point of this game. You get a lot of machines. So... I don't really want to have them, like, be right on the road. I kind of want to have them... Do I want to have them over here, maybe? But that's way too close to my home. So I kind of want to have them over on this side, right? Like, have them over... Have the parking over here. There we go. We're gonna get some more roads here. Paved roads. I go all the way here. Why can we not build this? Are, is this seriously too close now? I guess it's because it's still being built. So we have to wait for that to finish. That's okay. Alright, let's actually speed the game up a bit. Let our storage finish. Because I want to buy some seeds. 
I want to get that gosh darn tomato farm going. There we go, the farm is done and this is also now being built. So let's, first things first, we want to have a nice access road over here. It's not gonna like get all the way. Did I place the wrong one? I did place the wrong one. Give me the paved road instead. Yeah, on this one. Uh, there's no way to like adjust that. So it's, it's a little bit iffy that this is like wrong, but I don't mind that that much. We can add some cool stuff over here, maybe make it a little bit of a square, maybe like add like this and this. I think it's gonna look a bit nicer. Okay, so we have the parking. Uh, can we actually get a road here properly? No, don't tell me it's too close. No, I, that's the whole reason I did this. Man, that's a shame. So we can actually buy machines now. Uh, empty space. Alright, so what do we need? First things first, let's actually get a field going, right? So we want to get the tomatoes. Let's actually get a bunch of tomatoes. We're gonna have a tomato field. Uh, it doesn't really matter where we have it, I think. So I think I'm gonna have it have just a big tomato field. There we go. Alright, so what do we need to do? We need to... Let's see, we need to plow, we need to cultivate, we need to fertilize, we need to sow. That's four machines, right? Need something for plowing? Do we have a plower? A plower master, plow rodon. Battle machines, a tractor. Alright, precision cedar, round press, seed drill. Oh, that's a lot of things. Tractor rega. Alright, probably very important to have one of these guys. Yeah, go over here. Alright, so that's that's a that's a tractor. Then we need a cultivator, of course. Alright, let's buy that. And we are gonna need a fertilizer, of course. There we go. And we're gonna need a a what's the seed drill? I don't really know. And uh, where was the thing? This not I want the slur thing. I want the there was a, a plow rodon. Let's get that. Alright, so that's four things, right? That's four different things plus a tractor. It's gonna be very useful to have that. We can actually do that for the fields. We have a bunch of people. They're not personally good at machinery. I actually kind of want to hire a few more people because I want to have um, people available at all times. So do we have... You're a good beekeeper. I'm gonna actually maybe go for beekeeping. I'm gonna hire you for now. That might come in handy. Who is good at machines? You're kind of okay with machines. You're actually really good. Randall is my man. That's okay. Who else do we have? You're good with animals. You're good with machines as well. We're gonna be using a lot of machines here. Hire this guy. And hire one person who's good at uh, orchards as well, which is you, right? And you're strong as well. Alright, okay, that's, that's a lot of people. I think that's gonna be enough for now. If they aren't gonna cost us because we do have to pay them. We can't just like have them work for us for free because that would be illegal. But uh, that's, that's, that's fine. Alright, so training. Is our training done here? Uh, it is. Okay, it is complete. Training is increased by 10%. Awesome. Uh, let's increase the strength of machines as well. It's really cheap. I also want to do this. It's only seven days. It's good. Uh, things are coming in. That's great. This is our tractor. So now we want to first want to plow this bad boy. So we want to get uh, use a machine. Well, it's too small for machines. No. Okay. You know what? No, that ain't, that ain't gonna work. Uh, how do we delete the field? What have I done? No. Okay. Don't don't explain to me. It's gonna make it bigger. And it's gonna make a new field. Cause this field is not gonna be useful for us. I wanna get a big tomato field. Look at the biggest tomato field the world has ever seen. Is that big enough for you? There we go, it is, alright. So we're gonna use a tractor. Actually, I kinda wanna, like... Wait for this, we have the... I guess it's gonna automatically attach the thing he needs. Yeah, okay, like that, and we're gonna get someone who's good with machinery. I think that's the first guy, I think he's probably the best, there we go. So you are gonna be doing this job here. I can interrupt to work, I'm gonna plow the entire field. That's okay, so now we're gonna need some seeds. Let's go to the market. Let's actually buy some seeds. So we're looking just at seeds. Tomato seedling. Okay, the price is going down, which is okay. I'm gonna buy... Like, can we buy a thousand seeds? It's probably... Can we buy 10,000 seeds? Let's buy 10,000 tomato seeds. Is that too much? That's probably too much. Delivery in... Uh, 70, that's 78 days for growth. I don't know if you say what the delivery time is, that's okay. So we have a smaller field as well. Let's actually plant something there as well. Let's plant some pumpkins, right? Kind of expensive. Let's get to like 500. I don't know how many seeds we can actually support here. It doesn't... I don't see that it says anywhere how much we can support, but that's okay. Alright, so we're gonna take care of this field. I'll also take care of this field on my own. So let's just take... We have to use machines here, which is okay. Let's take... Like some random peeps over here. Yeah, you just do that job on your own, except... It's a small field, we can, we can do it, no problem. 
Oh, you take care of this one. You may actually help out with this one as well, right? Yeah, all right. So gonna just go around, plow the entire field. That's so much better than doing it manually, I think. Yeah, it's also it also works, but this is like, it's so much faster. It's just such a massive difference. All right, let's do some beekeeping as well, right? Because we do have a good beekeeper. It might be a good thing to invest in that. So where was that? It was under here. Beekeeper building. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the beekeeper building like right adjacent to my workhouse. There we go. And that way, the person who takes care of bees, they can just wake up and go out and do their job. They don't have to go all the way around. You have the bees right next to where they sleep, which means that even if they get lonely, they can always hang out with their bees. This is gonna be done now. Awesome. All right, now we have to wait. I guess all of our guys are busy, so we can't actually assign anyone, right? Okay, now we have to cultivate. Machines, use a tractor and use the cultivator and use the same dude again. Because he seems to know what he's doing. These guys are still, like, making progress. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, go do that. To cultivate the entire field. Training finish. Oh, okay, awesome. So we can actually get more training done. If I can find the button. What's... I actually want to get less taxes. That seems, like, very boring, but also very useful. Get a loan. Loan history. You can see our status here. We can buy adjacent land. We can upgrade our building. Auto trade every week. Fields of maximal size 75 times 75. So we can actually spend all of our money to upgrade our main building. Which might be a good idea, but I don't think it really is. Why did you stop working? You, are you seriously going to bed right now? I think you are. Alright, so we have... Uh, gotta buy... Gotta caregiver. I wanna get the guy who's good with bees, which is actually not... No one that's available right now. So kinda wanna get... Oh, they get placed outside. Alright. Uh, can we place them anywhere? No, they have to be within a range, it seems. That's okay. Let's get a few of these hives, like, over here. Doesn't matter where they are. Let's put them behind this building. Put them all the way around. And put one, like, can we put one on the road here? We cannot put one on the road. Put one right outside the entrance here. Yeah, it's gonna look fairly nice. It looks like a uh, decoration. I like that. Make sure they're everywhere. That's... Is that 10 already? Apparently it is. All right. So we have all of these. We need a beekeeper as well. Can we hire a new beekeeper? Do we have anyone who's really good at beekeeping? No, we have that one person who's still doing their job, so we're gonna have to actually wait. That's okay, alright. While we're at it, might as well get an orchard as well. And we get an orchard by just... Um, I think we have to just go to the market. We could sell some stuff. Can we actually sell for more than we bought, bought it for? I don't really know. Uh, okay, you seem to actually be done with this, which is awesome. So now we have to fertilize, right? Do we have... We have no fertilizer. Okay, can we buy like a bajillion fertilizer? Uh, season plants, animal products. Can we buy poop? Cuts cows, but that's not poop. Uh, production? No. I guess it's in agrochemicals. Okay, what's the difference? Efficiency? This seems to be the same. Oh, we need to have a special storage for that, huh? It's like a lot cheaper. Get normal manure, so it's probably good to have some of that for, our, for ourselves. Um, we have less than an acre, right? So if you buy like a thousand, you can actually just buy like a lot. Buy too much chemical fertilizer. It's actually really cheap right now, so it's probably good to stock up. And these guys are still working, yeah. So we definitely don't want to have small fields. Because working the fields manually is like super slow. And I don't like it at all. So we want to actually wait for these guys to finish. We're going to assign the beekeeper to their new job. And do we have the fertilizer yet? We do not have it yet. Still waiting for it to arrive. There's like a lot of things here to do. I think that's the fertilizer coming in. There we go. Alright, awesome. Let's get fertilizer. Uh, chemical fertilizer. We Do Do we have a fertilizer? We have a fertilizer spreader. That's awesome. And we're going to get this dude. He's good with machines. Alright. Good. And over here we're going to get a beekeeper. Who's good with bees? Like one of you was very good with bees, right? Or am I just going crazy? Oh, yeah, it's probably that dude over there, right? There we go. All right. So now we have a uh, valuable mellifluous flowers warehouse. I can. Okay, so hopefully you're gonna do your job properly. Hopefully you just get the sign there and don't like interrupt me. What are you? I'm going to get stuff. I see. 
I also want to like get like this cultivated as well. Can't use machines, so I'm gonna just cult like assign a bunch of peeps here. I don't really care. There we go. Except finished our research, so we can actually get more stuff in training. This builds like five percent. I see. There's actually a ton of these that we can do. They just keep like appearing. Because if you look at um, this, you can see that it's gonna unlock two more things, right? And everything unlocks like more and more and more things. Mentoring training. Let's do that. Increase the strength of our employees. That's gonna make them work a bit better. But right now, I think they're slow because they're very, very weak. They don't like have the strength to do anything useful. All right, just need to be done. So now, can we just finally sow the tomatoes here? What? No. Did they? Oh, I think they like died off in the meantime because I bought them too early. Wait, where, where do I like look at my my stuff? I think that's the thing. Yeah, because it does have an ex expiry date. Oh no! What have I done? Yeah, seedlings. Okay, we need five. Let's buy a thousand seedlings, right? Let's buy a thousand like seeds and plants. No, they just go to buy. Yeah, they have to die off. So yeah, that's about, that's why they're red, I think. So we need let's buy like a thousand. Like that it's like we wasted some money. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. We wait for them to arrive. So we have to plant the seedlings. Should they work at the max level? Uh, that's fine. How do I actually look at their levels though? Okay, I see machines. Are you gonna level up soon? Oh, I have to actually. Pay to level you up. That's actually easy. Okay, you're the beekeeper, right? Now let's pay to level you up. And we're gonna get stuff. Awesome. Good. That's gonna actually be really good for us. And did we buy the tomato seeds yet? We did not yet. Alright, so we're still waiting for them to arrive. I think that's probably in the truck over there. Get stored in our warehouse. Which is good. He's taking your sweet time, my friend. Why is my money running away? I don't want to do that. All right, it's all gonna be get bought and let's go over here. Get here, choose, get tomato seedlings, and I'm gonna use a machine, a tractor. I don't have anything for sowing. I could buy a planter, but there's nowhere to plant it really. No empty garage, huh? Okay, let's actually do it by hand then. Let's actually get. We only have two dudes here. Oh, it's gonna take so long. Okay, I think I need to get another garage, honestly. My tomato's gonna expire again. Flipping hell. Uh, parking. Yeah, get another parking spot here. Can we just get it adjacent? I. That's not. Didn't want to place it there. But it, it's okay. <laughs> it got placed there, I guess. Um, I mean, I did click. I just didn't. I was trying to, like, rotate the map. But I misclicked. That's okay. That's alright. I'm gonna actually get these and I'm gonna buy the machines we need. Because if we do this by hand, it's gonna take 50 years and we're all gonna die by the time it's done. Alright, we have the garage, so we actually wanna go machines. Choose tomato seedlings, get a machine, buy a machine, the planter, get the planter. Buy the planter, put it in parking. Alright, so that we can actually do it uh, like that as well. Uh, machines market, yes, purpose is for seedlings, that's okay. And we're just gonna have to wait, huh? Yeah, there's no other way around. We could get another tractor, it might be a good investment. Because sometimes we need more than one. Probably is a great investment. What else do we actually have on offer here? Uh, that might come in handy. Oh, we can filter. We can actually filter like a lot of things. Cultivator. These are all like extra things. A mower. For mowing. Planter. With tomato seeds. Preci precision seeder. So I guess every like plant has a different one. We prefer cereals. Round press. Yeah, how do we actually harvest stuff? I actually want to buy something for harvesting as well. A sprayer would be very useful. Tractor, we have the tractor. Trailer with water. For moisture. It hasn't been raining. I actually don't want to buy that. Just in case. And anything else is good for tomatoes? Chest trailer. Um, probably gonna need that as well. And we have one more spot. This is for poop. This is what we have already. It has no purpose, apparently. Precision Cedar is for pumpkins. Oh, do you can actually get pumpkins here, right? No, it's they're still like taking care of it. Why are you so slow, guys? Kind of crazy. Uh oh, I see what happened. They get stuck, I think. 
All right, so we have these things coming around. We can finally do the planting, please. Yeah, tomato seedlings, yes. Machines, tractor, planter. Oh, there's so many people. Why are there so many people here? And give me the guy who's good with machines. Do I really have to fill this in completely? Higher, oh my god. Permanent, just give me strong people. Give me, give me, give me strong people. Uh, give me this guy as well. Yes, all right. Okay, get this. Why do we need to have so many people? I have no idea. I should get them all to work. And hopefully they can plant my flippin' tomatoes. And hopefully we can finally show our dumb, dumb neighbor that we are much better than he is. We still have a lot of time, so no need to worry about that. You're just, like, waiting around here, huh? You look very weird, my friends. You look... Like, wh why are you just... Why did you talk to each other? Why are you just looking at each other's backs? Makes no sense. Yeah, that thing is coming in. Yeah, they do get stuck. I think it's because I have... Yeah. They, they can't actually get up. It's the thing. <laughs> they can't get up my stupid hill here. Oh my god. I wish I could just flatten the land, you know? This is... There's bees everywhere! It's a disaster! Oh no, what have I done? Train finished the brain... Obtain grain method training. Can we... Ah, oh, god. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Alright, are you gonna get to work, please? What, 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 what's the issue here? Why, what, what, what? Why are we not doing your job here? Who are we waiting for? It's supposed to be like a bunch more people. Oh, it's because we... Uh-oh. I think it's because there's someone stuck over there, right? Yeah, I'll be waiting for him. Oh! Um... Release? I don't know what I did just then. What? But how did you not get stuck? Give you a skill if I want, but that doesn't actually do anything. Uh, can I just like pick you up, please? All right, I deleted the path, and actually that helped out a lot. So the, removing the path actually allowed them to move. I don't really know what's up with that. So hopefully you can finally start doing your flipping job now. There we go. Oh, you're all running around in this thing. That's so badass. I love that. Oh my god, look at this. Just hanging around, planting stuff. That's so nice, I love it. So the crop quality seems to be super high, which means we're gonna get a lot of money for all these sweet, sweet tomatoes. We completed our mission, which is great, and we have a massive tomato field. 63 days left. Oh, we had to, to collect six tomatoes? Well, I'm gonna collect a billion tomatoes, so sucks to be you, buddy. So 63 days left. Days are really slow in this game, so it might take us a bit. Probably not gonna happen in this video, is my guess. I can go water. This stuff, I can go spray it, and I can go harvest it. I don't want to harvest it. I mean, I can't even harvest it yet. I could just destroy everything, but I don't want to do that. So, it's all super high quality. Fertility is very, very high. Uh, there's no need to get any more humidity because it's actually raining right now. I don't know if you can notice that, but it's actually raining. So, there's no need to mess up, uh, to mess with my watering and whatnot. This seems to be working okay now that we removed the path. It was really kind of weird that, that happened. I don't know what's up with that. But it's okay. Oh no, you're stuck again, it seems. Yeah, okay, so but actually placing something, I guess, is gonna update your passing or something. Oh, well, I guess that's one way of doing things. Um, can we get the paved road again here? That might be good now. No, that's, that's even worse. That might be okay. Uh oh. What have I done? What have I done? No, stop moonwalking! Oh no. So, so this is like the worst location for house ever. Oh, I just realized we still have this small field that we haven't done anything with. Uh, did we fertilize it? I don't think we ever fertilized it. Let's actually go get the chemical fertilizer. We have like 10 tons of chemical fertilizer. Might as well use it, I guess. And let's get all these peeps over here. Accept. Do your job. Thank you very much. And let's get a... Maybe another field over here, huh? Shall we? Let's get some... Let's get an orchard. I get the very edge of our base. Let's get a big... That's too big. I guess if we can't place it there. How big can we go? We can go really big, it seems. That's that big. Alright, let's just go... Oh my god, trees. They fell down. Um, Let's... Uh, it's gonna like, take a bit. Get a machine over here. It's so much better. Let's get... Who could... You, doesn't really matter who we use. Just, just plow the field and we're gonna actually get go to the market. 
we'll go sell our, our seeds because we don't need that many seeds. And the price actually went up, so I think we would actually make money from this. As weird as it seems. I uh, want to get some trees, right? Seeds and plants. Yeah, these are the only ones that we can. I can buy, like, raw apples and eat them. What I really want to do is just wait until it's ready, then buy the apple seeds, because otherwise... Like, these things are gonna expire at one point. They're gonna expire in a month. Actually, in two weeks. And that would be really bad, because we there's no way we're gonna finish this in uh, two weeks. Is this done now? No, it's not. Oh, we're stuck again. Yeah, why did they place it here again? Can someone tell me that? Can someone tell me that? Oh, okay, you know what? You know what? I, I don't even care. Just build a new flipping home. <laughs> this is not gonna work. This is just a disaster. All right, we have a new house built. Uh, let's not hire. Let's actually go move our people. So how do we... Are any employee... Can you offer in the labor office? That's good to know. Well, let's go to our employees. How do we actually move people? Staff list. So apparently relocation does not work in this current build, which is kind of frustrating. We cannot delete the house here. They're all just, like, fully stuck. Like, I could may may maybe figure something out here, but I don't think it's gonna, like, work. Uh, I could, like, add buildings to maybe flatten this a bit more, but I think it's just too close. Maybe I can add some decoration, though, right? Maybe that's gonna help out. If I add some decoration, it's gonna... I modify myself a bit. Maybe I can get like a scarecrow here at the entrance. That's not gonna do anything of value. Are scarecrows useful though? They might be useful. Why don't I actually have some of those? Oh, oh, okay. I'm, I think I did something. They, oh, they seem to be moving. <gasps> it does work. Oh my god. I, I don't know if I did, the flowers did it, but if the flowers did it, I'm so super grateful because they actually are doing stuff now. They're gonna get stuck again, of course, as soon as they get back. But uh, since I can't move them, there's nothing I can really do about this for the time being. I just want to finish this off. Plant the flipping pumpkins. Come on, fertilizing kind of takes so long. I wish I made this field... Like, bigger fields are so much better. Because small fields, you can't use machines on them. And that's just a bit silly. Why are you stuck underground? What are you, what's your problem, sir? Okay, you seem to be healthy again. That's good to know. Alright, it has been fertilized. Let's just get some pumpkin seeds. We have half a ton of pumpkin seeds, we gotta use those. Let's actually get people who are really good at their job. Who are strong as well. Just, just do it. Just do it. Yeah, you can also get upgraded. Like the size of the harvest. Who has the most strength? Let's just upgrade this. And where's the other person who was doing stuff? Machines. Did you not have, like, strength skill? I guess that's not a skill. I guess that's just a bar here. Is sitting. So I can actually pick up the seeds here. Go back. Do your job properly. I think we also are almost done with this thing. Which is great. Yes, we are. And then we gotta just cultivate this if at all possible. Again, we don't have to do this, but it does increase the crop quality. Which is uh, good for us in the long run. We cultivate machines. Again, tractor, cultivator. And let's get the person who is the best with the car. Davis Blum. Can I actually just upgrade your skill a bit? Yeah, there we go. Just don't destroy stuff. And over here we have 43 days left. Everything needs to be great. Our crops are healthy. They're growing, gonna have a lot of money from this. It's gonna be a glorious day once that is done. But I just wanna plant the pumpkins. Finish planting the pumpkins, come on. It's seedling. Do we not get to see the pumpkins? I guess we do not get to see the pumpkins. Kinda of unfortunate. But are, are they even done? Are they just gone? I don't know what they're doing. There we go, the pumpkins seem to be growing. I don't see them yet, but I guess they are underground still, so that might take a little bit. This is almost done as well. We just gonna have to fertilize this, and then we can plant the trees. Oh, didn't want to do that. So let's actually just go over into fertilization. Let's get the tractor, let's get the spreader, and let's get our Davis man, who is the best man in the world to do that. So if you look over here, we can see that our humidity is going down a bit. There's also like a bunch of birds just flying in and taking stuff. I don't like that. So let's buy a scarecrow over here. Uh, can we just buy? It has like a large coverage area. That's always good. Let's get like a bunch of these dudes. Like one over here. We just added water for irrigation. It also seems super useful. But I want to get like these dudes taken care of first. There's a bunch of scarecrows there. Let's get a well so we can well uh, get water. Fences. I could make. I could use a fence to make this look nicer, though, right? Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Let's get a well outside here. Oh, it's a large area. Awesome. I'll get one over here. That's okay. It's gonna be a lot of water access. These birds should be scared. No, you're supposed to be scared of the scarecrow. What are you doing? 
That's bad. Let's actually go water this. So can we use a machine for watering? We can. No machines available? Oh, we only have... Right, one tractor. Uh, let's get a new tractor as well. Why not? Oh, no, we don't have... We have room, right? Yeah, we have room for the tractor. And now we're gonna actually choose the tractor we have. Get Davis on the job. And we're gonna have two tractors. So we can do two things at once. So over here, we fertilize it. The only thing left to do is to actually just... Uh, Go plant the stuff. Actually, we don't... Can I cancel this? Yeah. It's raining now, so the humidity is gonna go up. I don't wanna do this anymore. Let's uh, go and buy... Buy season plants. Let's buy a bunch of trees, right? Sure, there's suitable roads. I don't care about roads. Where we're going, we don't need roads. So th this is getting quite expensive. 250 units per acre. This is a 0 0.25 acre farm. So we need a quarter of that, right? It's 250 per acre, which means we're gonna need like... 62.5, right? I think 70 is gonna be enough. May have done the math wrong, I don't know. I think, I think it's okay. I'm gonna buy 20,000, no, no, let's not let's go over. I'm gonna buy 2,000 apple, apple trees. I know, it's it's a waste of money, but I like, I like wasting money. It's a total waste. Grow time is 300 days, but I'm guessing once we plant these, they don't disappear until we just chop them down. That's gonna be great for us. Humidity is actually going up very slowly. But that, yeah, it's actually all the way full, awesome. Awesome, there's another tractor coming in here. And this is gonna get planted. Contract failed! Why did we fail? This one? No, but it would, I, I... Oh, we didn't get the tomatoes yet! Really? Oh, it's, it's still watering. That's, I don't want it to be watering. I think we may have caused the problem here. I think we may have caused the game to bug out. Because it still thinks it's watering the plants even though I cancel that. That is a slight issue but yeah i'm gonna actually just end this video here if you guys enjoyed farm manager 2018 let me know right down there in the comments leave a like to show your support and all that jazz it really does help out a great great deal more than you can even imagine but yeah once again thank you all very much for watching my name has been twisted from honey Bandit games now we'll see you next time